Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, welcome back to update 1.22's test server showcasing uh, one of the biggest surprises for myself, at least, from this update, and it is WZ113GFT. Uh, one of the least played, the least favorite tank in uh, tier 10. One of the least, if not actually the least favorite or least grinded out uh, tank in tier 10 in the tech tree. And it is going to get buffed. And guys, uh, when I was doing my first uh, test runs uh, on the update 1.22's test server uh, while streaming, many, many players, viewers, came into the stream saying I got a test out with that 113 GFT because now it is actually awesome to play with or it is way more enjoyable to play with. Uh, so the first hype came from the viewers, uh, came from the players. And uh, then I decided to check it out myself as well. And yes, guys. I have to say, I do indeed enjoy this tank way more than I did before. Now, what they are doing to the WZ113GFT is quite, uh, quite a lot of things, actually. The specific power, up to 15 horsepower per ton, plus 3.2 horsepower per ton, out from the gate. This is actually big. It's honestly a big boost to the mobility. Top speed only received at 2 km per hour, you know, extra drop speed. But uh, if you use turbo, which I am using now on this vehicle, it can actually, you know, go up to 40, uh, 45. So um, all the buffs combined with the turbo and everything, it actually adds up, um, up, up to 45. But, you know, the mobility buff, like top speed uh, wise, it was not that significant, only 2, but still something. Now, next thing, what is actually quite annoying on this tank, because I'm playing it on the live server as well right now, just field modding it up for the future. But the standard shell velocity is 760 on the live server right now, and it is honestly, honestly quite bad. Because the slower your shell velocity is, indirectly it makes your gun less accurate as well a bit. Uh, what I mean by that is, the slower your shell is, the bigger the gun arc is going to be. You know, if you fire at targets which are far away, your gun arc is just, you know, massive sometimes. And uh, it can hit anywhere and uh, result in way more bounces. Like if you're trying to hit lower plate uh, from, uh, from the distance for, from afar, for example, then uh, the arc just, you know arcs it, curves it to the upper plate, and you can't penetrate that, and so many other issues. But uh, the standard shell velocity, getting 200 extra meters per second shell velocity is actually quite significant, up to 960, which is nice. And it has 290 base pen as well, so it can go through stuff the AP round. On the top of that, slight uh, reload improvement over here, extra... Um, 0.5 seconds shaved off from the reload, so 16.5 base reload time. And also, on the top of that, dispersion at 100 meters is 0.02 better, down to 0.36. And I'm actually able to get it under 0.30 with improved aiming, which I'm also using. So, I'm uh, testing this tank out like this. This is my setup. It's completely different what I used before. But now I am treating it a lot more aggressive, playing it a lot more aggressively. Now, uh, I have the improved aiming over here, uh, but uh, also the improved rotation mechanism uh, would work absolutely fine because it makes your dispersion better and also your halt reverse speed better as well and it makes it easier to play it even more aggressively. But I'm just, you know... Uh, juggling between a couple different equipment units over here but turbo and rammer is what i like to have because i like to be more aggressive and rammer over here is just to uh, reload faster of course uh, because if i am playing aggressively and uh, i'm more facing the enemies i want to keep my gun busy as often as possible just to deal more damage pretty simple and you can see that the dpm is now up to 3579 with all the things over here without ventilation but with rammer for example and not rammer directive so you can actually pump this dpm up even more let's say you are using uh, ventilation instead of uh, a turbo and uh, then rammer directive you could get this even higher but this is already pretty damn impressive right 3.5 uh, k uh, dpm we have 12.5 second reload time and as I said under 0.30 dispersion at 100 meters with uh, field mods as well of course. This is fully field modded over here. 
and uh, mobility way better than it was before. Look at that, guys. 17.1 power to weight ratio with 45 top speed and 17 uh, top speed as well. Now, this power to weight ratio is also getting boosted by one field mode, which improves the power to weight ratio and the engine power a bit, uh, but it lowers the uh, reverse speed by two. But because I have turbo, 17 is still pretty juicy. View range without ventilation or anything like that is still over 445, so I'm happy about this. And I do not even have uh, uh, maximum camo, so this crew is just like, eh, you know, it is what it is over here. Uh, camo, definitely, you should have full camo over here as well. But it doesn't matter for me right now, because I'm just testing it out in more aggressive situations, scenarios. Now, when I'm talking about aggressive, uh, actually... You can't be foolishly, you can't be overly aggressive with it. Let's quickly go to this scene, right? I hope so. Uh, because, 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 because you can see that this armor... Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, in tier 10, there are a lot of tanks that can penetrate it. Now, the upper plate, the superstructure is going to bounce many, many standard rounds. But as soon as they load premium rounds... You know, it is full green. Yeah, 200, uh, sorry, 395 Ben goes through everything. But let's say if you have 320, basically, you would see the same picture over here. So you have to be careful about that, of course. But uh, this tank in some tier 8 action. Now, I have not tested it out or I have not faced tier 9s or tier 8s in this tank on the death server while playing more aggressively. But imagine this tank versus tier 8s now with the new mobility uh, or tier 9s. You know, it can bounce more. It can just be quite an annoying vehicle, in all honesty. Uh, now, the heat round with massive pen is still holding it 760 shell velocity, which is nice way uh, to keep this a little bit more balanced, right? I would say so. And uh, you saw some live, sorry, you saw some background gameplay action as well. And now let's uh, play one random live battle together as well. And let's see how we do. Let me just try to showcase this tank for you a bit. And let's call it a video. Let's go! And the Tundra is what we get for our live action over here. And uh, I will let you to simply boost away from me. Because I want to be over there and snipe or counter snipe uh, enemy team snipers. Uh, they could have concept fives over there for sure. Uh, who are going to do some, some shooting from here. So let's simply wait. There is Foch 155 as well, and I'm pretty fairly confident that we did hit that shot right here, thanks to the shell velocity buff this tank just receives um, over here. Okay, enemy team took the hill by force and uh, by uh, by numbers uh, with a lot of tanks. Foch 155, where are you? Okay, Foch 155 is up here. Nope. I think I had like a tiny, tiny, tiniest chance over there to hit it. I'm getting a little bit of lag action over here. A little bit of lag action. Sad to no hit. But th this is like, this tank does not hit shots like that very often. Uh, to start off with. But it does hit that. 699 in the face of the concept. We have the low ground of the hill quite secured, so I would say that if I simply stay over here and wait for them to come in, I can do that. Yes, exactly. Shot after shot. And this bush over here is providing me good enough cover. I do not get instantly spotted. Wait. Now. Beautiful. Good, good. DPM increased. DPM buff. We can work it down. Accuracy, shell velocity buff over here. Everything is showing up. And, uh, well, they have the hill, right? But they're kind of trapped over there. Up on the hill. <laughs> Nobody's really paying attention over here. What the hell is damaging them? Okay, but now that you know that it is me, now that you know that it is indeed me, who is doing that? And, uh, okay, we have flankers coming. 
I was thinking about flanking, but because we already have so many flankers coming in from there, we can go in. I love this. Like, I love this mobility buff. It's gone kind of handling, accuracy, all those memes. And let me actually load in uh, Debrimum Heat as well, because 395 pen is something you cannot ignore, guys. It is simply something you cannot ignore. It goes through stuff. And it does that without asking too many questions. Oh! Guys, I, <laughs> I gotta be honest. I got to be honest. I did not pay much attention on that. <laughs> I got to be honest. The FBI I forgot. Uh, mistakes were made. I can say that. I, I simply go... I Or go in, yeah. I simply went in and I got punished by 1,930. 1,930. So that guy almost uh, high rolled by 200 as well, on the top of having the sexiest alpha match in the game. Uh, so, with uh, me taking that shot, dying early, I think I missed out like 750 damage. Not, I don't see... I don't see me doing much more than two shots or one shot uh, more in that game. I really do not see, because that was quite a fast, quite a, let's say, one-sided victory. Uh, we had good position early on as well, and the enemy team paid lack, or they had lack of attention. They paid less, little attention. Yeah, little attention. That's the good London. Th that is the London word I was looking for. <coughs> so, yeah, we said, like, I am going to treat this tank uh, kind of semi-aggressively uh, with uh, all those buffs now, and it just makes it how to say, like, more interesting for me to play, because previously uh, it just wasn't here. Like, it didn't have much to offer, it didn't have mobility. Even if it had, like, okay top speed, let's say, but the board weight ratio was uh, weak. This shell velocity of the standard round was so bloody boring, weak. No accuracy to snipe, and so on, so on. So now, I can say it actually has something, and uh, I, I really do enjoy it way more than I did on the live server. So yeah, this is a quick test server showcase of WZ113GFT. Maybe it is not going to be the least played tank in tier 10 anymore, or the least grinded out tank in tier 10 anymore. Least popular, call it how you want. Now, have you tried it out? Have you tested it out? What do you think about this buff? Did it need it? Did you do a good job? What would you do differently if you would buff this tank yourself? And uh, I do like that the massive heat penetration and heat round, primo round, is still, you know, keeping it 760. So at least some kind of drawback uh, using only heat over here. But yeah, that is me done, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time with something else. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy, take care, and bye.